the number one mistake that web designers make, and quite frankly, any business owner makes, um, in their business that stunts their growth and stops them from growing is not making lead generation their number one focus. Uh, so many web designers want to look at the tech side. They want to uh, look at optimizing their business, uh, doing their accounts. But the reality is none of that matters unless you have leads coming in. And your number one focus should be lead generation. Every day you should be doing um, lots of activities around lead generation. You know, so many web designers that I speak to, I come in contact with lots because I, I, I coach web designers and I have lots of them contacting me. And the number one problem they all have is they don't have enough leads. The number one problem that they want to solve in their business that they think is important is how do I get more leads? Now, I know there's many other problems in a web design business that they need to solve, but that is the number one problem. But how come so many of them know it's the number one problem, but so few of them actually have a solution? So many of them come to me quite helpless saying, Marlon, I've done courses on how to run a business and how to run a web design business, but none of them covered the lead gen part. How do I get leads? I, I, I know how to get referrals. It's, it's time consuming, but how do I get leads? And so today what I want to do is help you um, really understand what you should be focusing on. Because if you have no leads, if you have no sales, and if you have real business problems that need cash to solve, you know, they say that money can't buy happiness in your personal life, and I tend to agree. But in business, money can solve a lot of problems <laughs> and take away a lot of stress, like employing someone new. And so if you want those benefits, what you're going to have to do is focus on what's really important. Make lead generation your number one focus. And so when I started my web design business, I remember I had some success. And the more successful I became, my income actually started to shrink <laughs> because the more projects I got, I stopped lead gen, I stopped the sales cycle because I was working on projects and months would go by and I would notice that my income went up and then it started to detract and I started to have less and less income every month. And I feel like so many web designers are in that position and there's only one way to solve it, <laughs> get more leads. Okay. So let me tell you the three things that I changed in my business and my life to actually grow my business. The first thing is I created a sales target. Uh, it's very simple. I know we all have goals in life, but I created a target of how many sales I wanted to make a month and how much I wanted to sell a website for. And then I put that on my wall and I looked at it every day. Now, I know a lot of you have tried that before, okay? And it's definitely step number one, but most of you have not done step number two, okay? And step number two is even more important than step number one. And that is make a list of daily activities that you have to do to achieve that goal in step number one. And that is the most important step. And so you need to say, what am I gonna do every single week to or every single day actually, not a weekly, not a weekly activities or monthly, but daily activities. So am I gonna join a BNI group and have a one-to-one -one and um, go to a group meeting every week? Am I gonna make 10 cold calls? Am I gonna email my database to five people every single day? Uh, week? Am I going to call five people a day in my network? Am I going to get on LinkedIn and connect with people? Am I going to get into some Facebook groups and have five connections um, or messages uh, like conversations about um, websites on Facebook every single day? What are the metrics for you? What are the activities? You need to set them. You need to put uh, a number beside each one and every day you need to be relentless and that is step number three. Number three, you need to be relentless. You need to be like a dog with a bone. <laughs> never stop and never let go. What you need to do is have some accountability, whether it's with yourself or with your partner or with a friend or with a business partner and say, I'm going to make these. You need to keep me accountable. Because without step three, being extremely accountable to doing step number two, which is the daily activities to generate more leads, then you'll never get number one, which is your goal on how many sales you need to make every single month to grow your business. And it's, it's that simple, right? Now, what are the activities in step two you're gonna do? Well, we can talk about that later, okay? Um, that's the first problem you need to solve. But the reality is, you need to make a commitment to this. Are you gonna make a commitment? Are you gonna say, I'm gonna have a goal, I'm gonna have a bunch of daily activities that are measurable, that I can tick off every day, hey, let me, show you something here that I have. Um, 
The only problem with this is my sons take it. I've actually got a clicker. Um, and this clicker is, okay, my son took it. <laughs> it's a clicker and every time I have a conversation, I click it and it just goes up one. And so um, I know how many conversations I've had. So these are the things you've got to put into your life. And if you do this, you'll grow your business. So if you want more leads and you want more sales and you want to grow your business so you can solve real problems in your business and you can grow and have the business of your dreams, what you need to do is focus on these three things. And if you do that every single day and you're relentless, at the end of 12 months, you will have a vastly different business. So if you've been listening to this and you've thought, Marlon, I need that. You know, lead gen is a problem for me. I need to do something differently to solve this problem in my business. I want to encourage you to book in a scale session with me. It's a 15-minute brainstorm where we'll cover uh, uh, strategies that you potentially could do. We'll try and apply this into your business. And at the end of that call, you'll be pretty clear on the next steps that you can take. So underneath this video or around it, there's an application where you've got to fill in a few questions to see if you qualify. And if you do, uh, you can book a time in my calendar. I'd love to have that chat with you. I'd love to help you take that first step towards um, setting a goal, setting activities, and relentlessly every day following them through. So at the end of 12 months, you can have an amazing business that gives you the money, the meaning, and the freedom that you deserve as a web designer. So um, book in the call. I look forward to chatting to you. Speak to you soon.